everybody and welcome back to the Mindful Dancers channel. My name is Karen and happy Valentine's Day. And today's video is all about self-love. So put on some comfy clothes and we'll go ahead and get started. good to you today. So you could sit cross-legged like me or here, or maybe you want to sit up on a block if you've got a block. You can sit up on a pillow or a blanket. Just find a comfortable seated position that feels best for you today. And today we're going to take three loving breaths to center in for our practice today. So let's take a deep inhale in feet through the nose. Feel your lungs expand. And then deep exhale out. Deep loving inhale in through the nose. And deep exhale out. And one more inhale through the nose. And deep exhale out. So we're diving into the practice of self-love. And as dancers, we tend to easily forget this concept because we're always striving to perfect our craft. We're striving to please our dance teachers. We're striving to even please directors if you're a professional dancer. So we're going to take this opportunity to tune in to ourselves. The most important person on this earth is you. So take this moment to just notice how you feel. Notice if you're holding any tension in the body. Notice if you're feeling any type of feelings of anxiousness or stress. Or maybe you're, there's feelings of, oh, I don't deserve to do this yoga practice today. Well, the hard part is over. You made it to your mat. And I am here to say, that you are deserving of giving yourself the love and attention that you deserve. Especially on this Valentine's, Valentine's Day. So just take a couple more breaths here. Feel yourself grounded into the earth. Allow yourself to sit up nice and tall, shoulders melt away. And then when you're ready, we'll flutter the eyes open. And we'll take a big inhale and we'll reach our arms up to the sky, big stretch overhead. And exhale, cactus arms, bending the elbows, maybe you bring your gaze up to the sky. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, from here we're gonna give ourselves a big hug here. Right arm is on top. Just wrapping yourself in warmth and love. You can even tell yourself, I love you. And then we'll take a big inhale, arms reach back up. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, going back in for another big hug, left arm on top, wrapping around. Maybe you give your upper back a little massage here if the back needs it. And then we'll inhale, arms reach up. And then as you exhale, plant your left hand down into the mat and reach over to the left side. 
spiraling the heart towards the front of the room, draw your right hip down towards the mat. And inhale, come back to center. Right arm or comes to the mat, reach over to the right side. Left hip draws down, really reach through the fingertips, take a big inhale in, exhale out. And inhale, come back to center. And exhale, float the fingertips down. And let's meet in tabletop position. Taking your time to get there, moving from a place of love. We throw ourselves around all day, literally and figuratively as dancers. So it's very important that we tend to our bodies with care and with love. So wrists are underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Taking our cat cow, inhale, lower the belly towards the mat. And exhale, navel draws up, really dome the back here as you press away. Inhale, belly lowers. Think of lifting the tailbone and the head so we're not collapsing in the low back. And then exhale, round through the spine. And then one last inhale, belly lowers here. And then exhale, draw your navel up. Bringing yourself back to center, we'll send the hips back towards the heels, lowering the forehead down. Take a little child's pose here. You have the option to bring the knees as wide as the yoga mat here. Feel a lengthening through the whole back. Know that child's pose is a place you can come to at any time during your practice. Whenever you need to find rest, whenever you need to find stillness, reconnecting to the breath. We'll take one more inhale in. And then as you exhale, we're going to send our head and our hips forward, lowering the hips down to the mat. We come into a little dolphin pose here, opening the heart, the throat chakra. And bring the hips back to child's pose. We're going to continue to flow between child's pose and dolphin. Inhale, hips forward reach the heart, the chakra, and exhale, child's pose. Move at your own pace here as we begin to move with the breath. Again, moving from a place of love, not of self-hatred, not of anger. We'll take two more flows here. Inhale, lower the hips. Open the heart, the throat. And exhale, back to child's pose. And then one last inhale. Dolphin pose, taking the legs out wide here. And then maybe you look over one shoulder. And then the other shoulder. And then bringing yourself back to child's pose. Meeting back in tabletop position, we'll curl the toes under, send our hips up to the sky for our first downward facing dog of the practice. We'll pedal out the feet here. And then notice how this posture feels in your body. So if you're feeling a little tight in the backs of the legs, maybe you generously bend the knees here allowing the sits bones to reach up towards the sky. Feel how the hands are imprinting into the mat, keeping the fingers wide. Notice the long line from the tailbone all the way towards the crown of the head. Let's take one more inhale in. And a deep exhale out. From here, we'll bend the knees, send your gaze to the top of the mat, and we'll take a walk 
up all the way towards the top as we come into a forward fold. Feel free to have a generous bend in the knees here if you'd like, allowing the belly to come to the tops of the thighs. The weight of the head is heavy, and then maybe you clasp the elbows, swaying from side to side here if you'd like, while still allowing the knees to be soft. And then releasing the elbows, we'll inhale halfway lift. Palms can come to the shins or the tops of the thighs. Pulling the elbows back, nice long neck here. And release everything down, back to forward fold. We'll inhale, roll up through the spine. Reaching the arms up overhead. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Feel a sense of grounding underneath the feet. Feel the sensation of the hands pressing against your heart. And then we'll inhale, send our arms up to the sky. Nice big stretch overhead. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Planting your hands. We'll step the left foot back into a runner's lunge, lowering the back knee down. We'll inhale, reach the arms up overhead for a low lunge. Maybe you take a back bend here. And then exhale, lower your hands down. We'll send our hips back for a little half splits. Again, if you feel a little extra tight in the back of the right leg, maybe you generously bend the right knee. Take one more inhale in. Exhale, roll through back to your low lunge, lifting the back knee up for a runner's lunge. And then we'll step back to a high plank. You have the option to lower the knees here for a low plank if you'd like here. And then hug the elbows in towards the side body as you exhale, lower all the way down, or maybe halfway, chaturanga. And then scooping to a cobra, or upward facing dog. And then we'll send our hips up to the sky for downward facing dog. In down dog, bend your knees, bring your gaze to the top of the mat. Take a walk up towards the top, coming back to the forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, release. Inhale, roll up through the spine. Think of giving your spine a little massage here and reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Sending the right leg back into our runner's lunge. Lower the back knee, untuck the toes. Pulling the left hip crease back as you inhale, reach your arms up overhead for a low lunge. Maybe you take a slight back bend here, front knee is over the front ankle. And exhale, lower the hands down. Send the hips back to your half splits. If you have blocks at home, you can bring the blocks with you if you need to raise the floor. You can also use books if you don't have blocks with you. We'll take one more inhale in. Exhale, roll through. Lift the back knee up to runner's lunge. Inhale, step back to your plank. And we'll move through our flow to downward facing dog. Meeting in down dog, we take a deep inhale in through the nose. And deep exhale out. Inhale, right leg lifts up for three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot in between the hands, runner's lunge. From here, we pivot the back foot at a 45 degree angle. And we inhale, reach the arms up overhead. We come into our warrior one. So we have warrior one, which is a closed hip posture. Both hip points will rotate towards the front of the room. 
And if your heel can't touch all the way on the back leg, maybe you bring the back leg in slightly. Front knee is over the front ankle. Arms are reaching overhead, pinkies rotate in towards the center. Take one more inhale in. Exhale, warrior two. Turning your back toes towards the side edge of your mat. Once again, keeping that front knee over the front ankle. Energy is shooting through the fingertips. And we flip the front palm up, we take a big inhale and reach up and back, reverse warrior. And from here, cartwheel all the way down to runner's lunge. Stepping back to that higher low plank and flow to your downward facing dog. In down dog, take a deep inhale in through the nose and a deep exhale out. Inhale, left leg lifts up, three legged dog. Exhale, step the left foot in between the hands. Pivoting on the back foot, we inhale, reach the arms up, warrior one. Checking in with the alignment here, front knee over the front ankle, weight pouring into the knife edge of the back foot, pinkies rotate into the center. Let the shoulders melt away from the ears. We take one more inhale in. Exhale, warrior two, turning your back toes towards the side edge of your mat. Stay here for a couple breaths. And flip the front palm up, take a big inhale and we reach up, reverse warrior. From here, cartwheel your hands all the way back to your runner's lunge. And then stepping back to that high plank and move through your flow. In down dog, bend the knees, bring your gaze to the top of the mat. You can take your walks up to the front or maybe you try a little hop. Up towards the front, we come to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release everything down. Weight of the head is heavy. Inhale, reach overhead. And exhale, hands to heart center. Let's take two breaths here together, just noticing how we feel. Take a deep inhale in. Deep exhale out. Last one here on your own, listening to the sound of your breath. We inhale, start to pour the weight into the left foot as we lift the right leg up into a high lunge. Rooting into the left leg. And then exhale, we start to kick the right foot back. Transitioning into crescent lunge, bending the left knee as we step the right leg back. Arms reach overhead. We take one more inhale in. Exhale, from here, we're gonna send the left hand down, taking a twist. Feel the oppositional reach between your left and your right hand. And then from here, we'll take the left hand towards the back leg and then reach your right arm up to the sky for a little reverse twist. We're here for three breaths. Keeping the front knee over the front ankle, our right arm is reaching up towards the sky. And then we inhale, come back to crescent lunge. Exhale, we'll lower the hands down. And inhale, step back to your plank and move through your flow. In down dog, we bend the knees, bring your gaze to the top of the mat. We take a few steps or hop to the front for forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower. 
Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. And let's take our two breaths here. Once again, just noticing how you feel. And then we go to the second side, pouring your weight into the right leg. We lift the left leg up into your high march. Take one more inhale in. Exhale, slowly as we start to transition into crescent lunge, we start to bend the right knee. We're keeping our left leg towards the back of the room as we start to lower the left leg down. Arms reach up. Crescent lunge, take a big inhale in. Exhale, right arm comes down, it reaches to the back of the room as we take our twist here. Feel the spiraling sensation within the spine and right hand plants onto the back leg and we reach our left arm up, taking a reverse twist, three breaths here. One more breath here, breathing into the front hip. And then coming back into your crescent lunge. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, plant your hands down. And then inhale, step back to your high plank. Last call for a vinyasa here, or we'll move straight into our downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and we'll lower the knees down. We're gonna bring the knees as wide as the yoga mat, the big toes touching. From here, we'll plant our left hand into the mat. And then like a bow and arrow, you're gonna inhale, pull your right arm up to the sky as we take a little twist here. And bring your right hand down. Right hand replaces the left. And we'll inhale, reach the left arm up. And bring yourself back to center. Sending the hips back towards your heels. Lower the forehead down. We take another rest in child's pose. Take this opportunity here to listen to the sound of your breath. listening to the ocean sound of your breath. Give yourself permission to let go of today. Tuning in to the sensations within the body, tuning in to that act of self-care, that act of self-love. And then when you're ready, we'll bring the hands close to the body, pressing ourselves up. We'll move into a seat. Legs out in front of you here. And then feel free to generously bend the knees here if you'd like. And then when you're ready, inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, hinge at the hips, folding over the legs, seated forward fold. Allowing the whole body to curve over here. We'll take one more inhale in. Exhale, make your way back up to center. Last thing here before we move into a seat. We'll bend the right knee, wrap the left arm around the right leg, and we take some seated twists here. Right fingertips sweep around. Sit up nice and tall through the sits bones here and allow the shoulder blades to glide down the back. And we'll take a deep breath in. Exhale, come back to center. 
Switching to the other side, we'll bend the left knee, wrap the right arm across, left fingertips sweep around, take your twist when you're ready. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out brings you back to center. And then we'll come to meet in a seat, or if you'd like to take a shavasana here lying down, you can do that as well. Otherwise, you can come to meet me here in a seat. And just take these next few moments here to just notice how you feel. like to pause the video here for a little meditation here if you'd like or if you would like to if you need to go we're going to bring the hands over the heart today just listen to the sound of your heart feel the beating of your heart feel the strength of your heart allow love to emanate from the body Thank yourself for showing up on your mat today, for taking this time for you to connect to the love that is within you and within all of us that are practicing today. I want to thank you all for joining me from wherever you're practicing. And if you liked this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below telling me how you're feeling on this Valentine's Day. And I will see you all in the next video. Let's bring the hands to heart center. We'll take a deep breath in and a deep exhale out as we bow. Namaste.